right guys toolbox tour update we moved up from the 72 inch harbor freight us general box into a snap-on 72 inch master series box there's a triple bank this is a newer style that's why the drawers are like that and um, I actually added a couple things to the box and most people don't have but uh, yeah, so yeah, I got the Rhino top it's a stainless steel top with like a rhino coating. I got the outlets on top, which are called like, they call them like the ears, you know, because they're both on the sides. Um, I still have the snap-on, tire pressure programmer, battery checker, I never really use it. The snap-on Solus. Solus is a good scanner now. The new update is actually pretty nice. Um, I have this Maxisys scanner just for you know quick scans nothing crazy the snap-on scanner started to have more like programming functions and resets and uh, initializations does a couple keys nothing crazy but it is a much better scanner than what snap-on used to have uh, got tool cleaning i use that i use that adams h tool gloss and guard to actually you know like spray the box and make sure the box is clean it actually protects it pretty good got my uh, flashlights charging uh, so these have usbs on them you know so you can just charge them like that both of them have it all right this is the top drawer so my top drawer i got my half inch sockets these sockets are actually mixed a lot of them they go from snap-on to uh, i think i have a matco i think i have uh, some pittsburgh some craftsmen then over here i got all craftsmen's you know, of the uh, chrome sockets. And we go over here, I have all of these are, let's see, these are all Genius Tools. So Genius Tools, I found on like, I think toolup.com. All their tools, um, they have like complete size sets. So like Snap-on, Harbor Freight, and these places, sometimes they skip sizes, which gets a little annoying. So I went online, I just found a place that has all the sizes. Um, Pittsburgh for the 3 8 chrome, they had all the sizes. Now, here I have the Flank Drive Plus quarter inch. I have quarter inch impact and quarter inch non impact, like the regular chromes. My tens are missing, obviously, they're in the car I'm working on. These over here are what they call Flank Drive Plus. Um, these are the the these are the shallows that are in here. These are the semis, and I ordered the deeps. The deeps are gonna come in soon. I have actually over here the regular deeps of the quarter inch. Um, these are actually really good because they do have like a stopper for the nut. But the Pittsburgh ones don't. You know, the nut can fall all the way down there. There's sometimes it gets a little frustrating. Snap on 3 8 impact, uh, whatever they're called, twist or extract sockets. There's a very good set, works very well, great to have. This is from a company called Astro. Uh, this set was cheap, I bought it on Amazon, works good. Uh, it, you can't put too much pressure on them. I broke a couple of tens a few times, but for what it is, pretty good socket set. This, I think, uh, yeah, this is Blue Point. I used to have the VIM set. I uh, I left that at home for when I do stuff at home. I bought this set from the Snap-on guy. It was fairly cheap, has all the sizes. Uh, I think the VIM set was missing this size. Uh, 18, I guess it's called. So I had to buy this anyways for a specific car that I was doing. These are uh, BMW, what are they called, wheel lock uh, keys. This is the master set for this style. I have another master set for the other styles. I'm not really supposed to have that, but we have a lot of cars coming from the auction. And I ended up buying the master set. 
This is the impact driver, the one that you hit with the hammer. Let's see here, there's uh, some more twist sockets, nut extractors, whatever you guys call them. Some more of those. This is for cars that have uh, like expanded bolts that, you know, a 21 can't take it out, but a 21.5 fits like a glove. Some more extractors here. These are all, everything that's here is just cheap stuff. Just stuff from Harbor Freight, doubles, you know, like I have a set of everything here inside that blue point set. I have all the Allen keys in there. Um, so yeah, I just put all the cheap stuff over here, you know, just to quickly grab it. And just in case I lose stuff, like you see, it's like one or two things are missing here. Yeah, I don't care. These sets are like $10, $20 each, so keep buying them on Amazon every like once in a while, whenever I run out of uh, like two, three of them, I'll buy, I'll buy them. I'll just throw the whole set out and buy them again. Um, I have the snap-on quarter inch extractor set here. I got this off Amazon from like, I think it's called Sun X Tools. That's a pretty good uh, O2 sensor removal kit. Before I bought that, I had this one. This one's from snap and also I just needed the bigger size and the uh, other socket style. I got the spark plug removal tools over here. Pretty much cuts my front, uh, my top drawer. Over here I got all my ratchets, even the electric ones. So I did order the quarter inch long one. So it's the only thing that's gonna take like a week or two to come. I got torque wrench. I got, I use that as a breaker bar. Pretty good bar. I've never had a, I've never had it like skip gear or anything. I had it for like a year to take out like any rusted bolts with it. I like it cause it's ratcheting. I know you're not supposed to be doing it with the ratchet. You should have an actual breaker bar, but I use it. Works, works fine for me. It's all that counts. I got all the quarter inch extensions, even though I'm missing one, I think it's the car I'm working on. I got a quarter inch impact, that's quarter inch uh, chrome. This is also, these are all from Snap-on. Uh, I have seen, I did snap a lot of, a lot of these in half. And a lot of the like ends came off whenever I was impacting anything that's like really, really tight. So that's why I went to the snap ones. I have not cracked the snap on one yet. I've had that for like a year. And these every like couple months, I, I, I was going into Harbor Freight, replacing them, going into uh, Sears and replacing them. Obviously Sears closed down. So I couldn't replace any of the, the uh, Craftsman ones. So I just started to buy them all on snap on. These, most of them are snap on. Uh, one or two of them are like Pittsburgh. You can see it's this one. And this one's Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh ones are good ratchets. Just, you know, if you're looking for a regular ratchet to buy, you don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on it. Pittsburgh ones work fine. Sometimes I grab those instead of my, you know, snap on one. Just, you know, in case I lose it, I don't want to lose a $100 ratchet. I'd rather lose a, you know, $10, $20 ratchet. This is my flashlight drawer. Obviously, two of them are over there. Charging. Um, I got one in the car. Yeah, I usually I keep all my flashlights in here, spare batteries, you know, all the like, flashlight mounts, magnets. Let's see, let's see. I'll start from here. We got, you know, just bits, drill bits, um, hole saws. This is a digital caliper. Mm, really good in this drawer. I got some like spare garbage that, you know, I need to put it somewhere I put it in there. Here I got big sawzall, the smaller saws where I get the little dremel, some blades. And those are like a assortment of garbage, and sandpaper, polisher kits. My torch is a very good torch from Snap On. And here I just have this is like a storage drawer. You know, I have extra sockets in here. I have uh, hats, you know, snap on hats. I have, Couple of, like extra chargers. Here is where I keep my polisher. Uh, I have like I have three polishers. One's Rupees. One is 
cork and one is flex. So I do a lot of ceramic coating and you know, this is for paint correction on ceramic coatings. You need a very good polisher. I keep those. All right, so these Flink Drive Plus, this is the set of the offsetted, um, I think they're offset, I think five degrees, they said, five, 15, something like that. And these are great because I do the, I do a lot of alignments with them and sometimes the tie rods are a little bit eaten up from the last guy who did an alignment. So those grip the, those grip the, uh, the tie rods and the tie rods much better than a regular ratchet because of the Flink Drive Plus technology. And sometimes it gets a little annoying because you're, these are much tighter fit than the other ones. And if something is on, it, it's like worn out, you know, you're, you're gonna have to get a regular ratchet. I've seen it, I've seen it happen a lot of times. Either a regular, a regular combination ratchet, sorry. And I've seen it happen once or twice. So sometimes, you know, when I get a 14 of this and it doesn't go on, I get a 15 of this and it's sliding off. I'm, I, you know, I go grab a 14 of a regular ratchet. And if, since this one has these little grooves in here, once in a while, since because of the tight fit, you need to grab a regular size of it because it'll actually fit on there better. These are also Flank Drive Plus. These are Flank Drive Plus, so I have the whole set. Um, these I, I ended up buying separately because I never wanted the short ones and all the sets I found, all the ones over there were the short sets. And I, I like to have the longer ones just for the leverage, because we do a lot of alignments in here. So that's what and these I actually bought from Amazon for like 75 bucks, something like that. And they're actually really good. Uh, they work fine. The ones that the Snap-on guy sells, I think are called Easy Reds. They're a little bit better. They're a little tighter. These, these flop around a lot. And the ones that Snap-on guy sells, you could flip the, you could actually flip the way the gears turn with a little selector other than flipping the wrench. So that's the difference with that. Here's my wrench drawer. Pretty deep drawer. Now I've been buying stuff. I'm moving from the 72 inch of the of Harbor Freight to the 72 inch snap-on box. It's a big difference. It's much deeper. And it gave me a lot of extra space and just to fill it up, I've just, I don't want to fill it up with garbage. So it's taking me slow and slow. I buy one, one or two uh, sets here and there. So these are, these are actually good to have. The long one has a lot of, a lot of, a lot, a lot of power. It's, uh, it's, it's great for cutting anything. It cuts TPMS metal sensors like it's nothing. Um, hangers like it's nothing. These are crimpers, newer ones that are out. These are also, these crimp, they're strippers, they crimp also. They're, they're one of the best tool snap on that because I also do a lot of wiring and I really recommend those to anybody who's doing wiring. And this right here, it's a good little tool to have just to quickly strip wires, but if uh, it's your only one, I, I would rather go with the one snap on has, that's like that instead of their blue point automatic one. Their blue point automatic one is tends to wear out, you know, they have to swap it out for you. Sometimes it cracks when you hit, when you squeeze too hard. Just what it is, it's uh, you know, it's a tool. Once in a while tools break and that's why it has lifetime warranty. These are all the wrenches I have, so now we move on to bigger stuff. I have a ball joint puller. I have uh, those I use for like calipers. I put on a little drill I go into the caliper with it. Sometimes when it's like a little rusted, uh, it's great to clean out the caliper guide pin places with those little little brushes, so you know it doesn't rust and uh, it gives the brake pad easy slide instead of you know putting back that that caliper guide pin and the rusty caliper. It's not really the best idea because you might come, the customer might come back with the same exact problem later. Got a couple bodywork tools, painless net removal. This is a, this is a great uh, caliper spreader from Snap-on. Works great. 
not really the best for like a triple cal a triple piston cal or, um, or a double piston caliper it's not really the best it's a little harder to press single piston caliper it's great when you're getting into the bigger calipers you should have the other uh, brake brake uh, caliper compressor tool let's see what else i got here let's go here <clears throat> This is my electronics drawer. So I got like a little mini scanner here. I got all my plugs here. I got like a voltage tester here. Um, that's, that's for the TPMS tool. This right here is a key programmer. Works pretty good. I have another two of them. One I keep in my car, just, you know, just because it's much bigger than this. And I don't really want to keep it on top of my box with all these things. So I have SKP 900. I have one from uh, X Tools, which works very, very well. And I have the bigger one of these, which I believe it's called S. It's also SKP tool. I just forgot the number of it. It's my screwdriver drawer. I'm missing one of these, but I think it's in the car that I'm working on. Uh, this came in the set. I think these came in the set. This I bought separately, ratcheting long, ratcheting short, which comes in handy a lot. These are just the uh, regular Torx drivers. These are thinner screwdrivers, which actually they're great for changing like key batteries and stuff like that. These are my pry bars. Um, these are great for like hose clamps and stuff, for like coolant and stuff like that. I mean, they're, they look clean. I usually clean them off because there's, they're just filled with coolant. It's pretty easy to keep these clean if you just wipe them off every day. A lot of my tools I wipe every day. Some, some of them, you know, they just have like a lot of wear on it. I like everything to be very nice and clean because every time I touch my tool, I don't want my hand to get dirty. So I tend to clean them with these hand towels a lot. I buy from Snap-on. Okay, I got two different power probes. I got the Power Probe 3. I have the Power Probe 4. I always go with the Power Probe 3. The Power Probe 4 is just uh, very bulky, very power. It loves power. So if the car is a little bit like 13.4 or 6 volts, it's not going to beep to tell you that uh, it has power. It's just going to give you the voltage. So now if you're one of those guys that wants to test fuses and you're waiting for the beep, sometimes... It's delayed, sometimes uh, it doesn't beep at all because it's it's not 14 volts straight. Power, this Power Pro is much better, much simpler, much smaller, much more compact. So I would recommend it. the newer one of this is actually much better than this one. This I bought like six, seven years ago. So they updated the Power Pro 3, it's much better. I do have a set of all the connectors or whatever you call these, the test, test leads, test kits. Uh, that's actually at my house right now. I am on I'm working on a different job that requires a lot of time, so I ended up taking the car home. This is a great multimeter. Um, I never bought the snap ones just because it's like three, four hundred bucks. I ended up buying this when I first uh, started this business in this trade, and it works fine for me. I never really have the need for a uh, power probe so often a uh, proper multimeter so often and i i use the probe to do a lot of things like if i'm testing a battery sometimes once in a while i'll grab the probe just to see the voltage just to see how it drops just to see you know where uh, you know sometimes even even with the with the multimeter it is much more simpler you can get the voltage reading much quicker i just like this because sometimes you know, I go through all the fuses, check them out anyway. So somebody comes in with a dead battery or complaining about a battery draw, I'll take the power probe and, you know, I'll check a couple of relays and uh, I'll check all the fuses with the power probe. So it is a very good tool. I do have a relay tester also, which works great. Um, really pretty simple to test a relay. You could actually do it with the probe also. It's just sometimes it's better off to put it in there because it checks it a few times and it knows more often how, how it's supposed to click on and off, if it's fully going on and off. The power probe itself, you got to hear the clicks and you got to know what's going on. And uh, sometimes it's pretty loud in here. So instead of grabbing the probe, I grab the 
relay tester. This, I don't know how well this works. I've never really used it. So supposedly if you have like a bad, um, I guess, let's say injector or coil or something, this is able to check it. I bought it because the guy came with it, but I've never used it, so yeah, that's that. This is all my uh, like clip removal, panel removal stuff. You know, this is the set of the plastic ones. Uh, this is all really just stuff that I use to take out panels with. This, this takes out the belt moldings. Uh, I use this to like once I want to hold stuff, you know, it's always great to have a scraper, get into places, take out like a double-sided tape off molding. So this jump box is great, but this one is really, really good. This is one of my favorite jump boxes. I use it on the daily. Um, it's probably twice as powerful as a JNC jump and carry. So I always grab this jump box first. Never had a problem. I've had it for over four years now. So this drawer, this is what's different than most guys. I did not buy the box that had the power um, drawer built in it. I had to build this myself. So it's a little bit tight because the other box that has this built into it has the power strip in a drawer on that side. I wanted everything in this same drawer, so I actually bought the snap-on power strip. I bought the insert for the drawer, and I made it work. So over here, I have a quarter-inch gun, 14.4 volt. Over here, I have the 3.8 gun. Over here, I have, this is also, uh, this is, this one has the chuck on it. So, this is just a screw gun. Over here, I have a polisher, a uh, polisher grinder, where, you know, uh, you could actually connect a lot of things to here. I use it, I mostly use it for polishing. Regular drill, 14.4 volt, 3.8, impact driver and I have the half inch impact over there that's an 8850 half inch impact it's not bad it's got balls but not as much as the Ingersoll Rand one and this is a dual charger by snap-on came out not too long ago so it could charge both batteries uh, the 18 volt one and the 14.4 volt one and this is the charger for the battery for my Ingersoll Rand gun that I'm going to show you in a second grab this and put this back in okay so now the last drawer here i have all my detailing stuff in here i like to keep it neat so you know there's clay bars polishes waxes stuff you know just to do paint correction nothing crazy some rags Okay, so that's for this box. Now, I did buy a Harbor Freight tool cart. Now, everybody says if you have a snap-on box, you should have a snap-on tool, uh, tool cart. I ended up buying a small tool cart, nothing crazy. I didn't want to spend $2,000 on a tool cart, so I bought the small one first. If it went well and I, I liked it and became useful, I'd buy a snap-on one. I've had this one for about a year and it's great i'll show it to you right now never had any issues and here it is so it is a mess right now because i am in the middle of a couple of jobs so what i have here is some zip ties some brackets brake parts lubricant so now that from permatex is one of the better ones they make it's uh purple inside that's great to grease up the brakes with uh, this I never use. I should honestly throw it out. Lithium grease. That's just for you know anything that needs to get greased up. It's actually good. Uh, lithium grease is great to stop noises from happening. So a lot of times I put it into like moving parts. Like uh, let's say I don't know 
the door actuators or the hinges and stuff like that stuff that cling around a lot and need a little bit of like a thicker grease to slow down the noise i put that over here i got tesla tape because sometimes factory uses tesla tape and when i go in there i like to put back whatever the factory had there i didn't i don't want to leave a trace of anything so i use that silicone gun this is for you know frankly anything uh, we have like the regular silicone that's for like gaskets this is for when i open up headlights and stuff and start doing things that shouldn't be doing we have the oil filter kits oil filter removal kits uh this kit is great uh, i have a special toyota one over here uh, i have another one of these toyota ones that uh i ordered and this one's for the v4 the other one's for the v6 so this one is for all 5.0 range rover filters to come out this is for m series cars to take out their oil filters over here i just have extra wrenches just stuff that i didn't want in my toolbox and this stuff isn't really that bad you know some of the gear wrench some of it i bought online some of it's from harbor freight uh just if i need a quick ratchet i grab it from here you know just something very quick i let you know if i'm doing a quick oil change i want to get one of these ratchets dirty because everything i have is soft handle and i really don't want to clean up a snap-on ratchet for 20 minutes and run it through the sink and you know play with that for a whole bunch of time because i can just grab one of these get a dirty wipe it down put it back in i don't really care much about it here's my tire repair drawer i do have a set of those it's 17 19 and 21 um these come in very 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 often i use them they come in the clutch really often so whenever i have a very very stuck bolt i'll grab a 17 from my toolbox because these will crack and i replace this this set I've replaced maybe like seven, eight times in the, future, in the past. And in the future, I really don't want to do it anymore because it takes two weeks to get them. So I tend to just grab a 17, 19, or 21 from my box whenever the lugs are way, 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 way too, uh, too tight and I'm gonna impact it for a while. This is a no-no. Over here, I got all my screws and stuff set up. So I got a whole bunch of new stuff, but sometimes I keep the old stuff around just because you know, it's good to have a couple older nuts, a couple older screws, just, uh, just in case you need that one size one time. And over here, that's the older Ingersoll Rand half inch. My, the electric brake broke on that. So uh, instead of sending it out and repairing it, I just dealt with it and I ended up buying the newer one. So this one, you see the electric brake works there's different levels of impact you could do this is full power this is half power this is wrench tight this is hand tight this is actually a great gun uh, i bought that one because this one uh, was such a you know powerful tool that i said to myself you know what if that one is this powerful the newer one is gonna you know, blow nuts off the car. So I got it. It is great. And it is a little bit stronger than that one. So I got nothing to complain about. It was around 400 something dollars, $500 on eBay. And I love this tool. It's my go-to tool. Over here, I got a Blue Point air pressure chuck, digital air pressure chuck. And over here, I have the Astro one. Both kind of great tools they both accomplish the same thing there is no difference between them um maybe the blue point one is a little more accurate but the astro one works the same that one's 50 bucks that one's 130 bucks 140 bucks so you know it really depends on how much you love snap on so i i just put a little snap on sticker on here i took off where it says uh u.s general but uh that great great tray and i did buy this add-on 
this add-on I bought it eh, it actually bent wow so yeah I bought this in red before they started making the blue one and I tried to paint it with a spray can but whenever you have heavy tools and you know you're putting oil filters and stuff like that onto it you're better off getting the right color I just don't really care much you know it's just the cart beats around goes around the shop it's nothing nothing special to me but it's a great cart great use you know back to this so this was my toolbox tour and yep that's it